It is autumn now in Washington, and the residents there say that more than ever during the past few years, Americans are coming to visit their capital. Some say because economic conditions rule out more expensive vacations elsewhere. Some say an election year has heightened interest in the workings of the national government. Others say something different. In a time when our values, when our place in history is so seriously questioned, they say Americans want their sons and daughters to see what is still for them and for so many other millions in the world, a city offering the last best hope of man on earth. You can see them, these Washington visitors, looking for the famous as they walk through congressional hallways, see them as they return silent and tight-lipped to tour buses that brought them for a walk through rows of white crosses in Arlington Cemetery. You can see them as they look up at a towering statue of Jefferson or out from the top of the Washington Monument or as they read the words inscribed at the Lincoln Memorial, let us bind up the nation's wounds. These visitors to that city on the Potomac do not come as white or black, red or yellow. They are not Jews or Christians, conservatives or liberals, or Democrats or Republicans. They're Americans, awed by what has gone before, proud of what for them is still a shining city on a hill.